During the Obama administration, six officials, including then Vice President Joe Biden and former President Barack Obama, employed alias email addresses. This practice of using aliases, whether associated with a government network or not, is unconventional for government officials. It particularly raises inquiries about the reasons behind the use of aliases by Obama administration members and whether it jeopardized government secrets, Breitbart News has reported. Jackson, while serving as the former EPA administrator, utilized the alias Richard Windsor, as reported by the Washington Post. Lynch, as Obama's attorney general, utilized the email alias Elizabeth Carlisle, as detailed by The Federalist. Following his assumption of office as the Attorney General in 2009, Eric Holder adopted three distinct alias email addresses as reported by the Los Angeles Times. To communicate with his Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, President Barack Obama employed an alias email address identified as Obama725, as revealed by the nonprofit Marco Polo and reported by Politico. Joe Biden, while Vice President, employed alias is such as Robert Peters, Robin Ware, and J.R.B. Ware for personal and professional correspondences. In 2016, an email addressed to Robert Peters discussed a scheduled call with Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko, a Ukrainian official who had dismissed the prosecutor that was investigating Burisma Holdings. This energy company was paying Hunter Biden $83,000 monthly for his position on the board. The House Oversight Committee contends that Joe Biden leveraged the withholding of U.S. aid to Ukraine back in 2015 to pressure the Ukrainian president into firing Prosecutor Viktor Shokin, who held authority over an investigation in two Burisma holdings. Notably, Hunter Biden's laptop contained 27 emails linked to Joe Biden's pseudonyms email addresses as documented in the Marco Polo records.